I'm Jerry. Good morning, good morning world from the streets of Hong Kong. It is Sunday morning. I just woke up. I am going to go to the station and I will be exploring some sightseeing in Hong Kong. I'm in Kowloon, which is not the main Hong Kong city. I have to take a train to go to the main city, but I will not be going there today. And I'm happy to be bringing you guys along with me today. Let's go. In of Hong Kong, the buildings are tall, quite tall. So they don't have a lot of real estate, like a lot of land. So their buildings and accommodations are rather going up instead of spiraling. Which is interesting. First impressions of Hong Kong. You pretty much get away with speaking English in the city. Um, when you hit, oh, sugar cane. Primarily because they have a history with the British, so obviously you know, colonization and all of that. Um, but I haven't had any trouble communicating in English. But if you do need the extra help, then you can use Google Translate, although they speak Cantonese as opposed to Mandarin. But you can get away with just using English. It's everywhere, it's on the board. Um, some local restaurants don't have English, but Google, can, Google Translate can help you with that. So, first impressions is that it is a very packed, compact city. But I haven't had any troubles this far. Guys, you can't eat on the train. There's actually signs that you can't eat on the train or anywhere of the paid part of the train station. So, I'm at the train station entrance and I'm going to try this pineapple bun, which is very popular in Hong Kong. Um, it is a food that is common in Hong Kong, so it looks like this. I got it from the bakery, freshly made. Hmm. The bun is soft, they have like a topping that makes it very sweet. Like it needs tea. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of the London buses. Mm. So I'm gonna go into the market and see if I can find food. I'm not sure if they even sell food, but let's go find out. This is the two quarter one markets. There's clearly no cooked food in there and I came out on the other side, where am I? On the other side, so I need to get back, but <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll get it from the store that had like some piping hot food by the station Hot fish bowls they were 17 Hong Kong dollars, which is round about times two, some times 2.5 for rands. <laughs> I don't know how to convert to the end, but they are quite and hot, so I'm excited. These fish balls are quite soft, my goodness. They have like chunks of meat in them, and they have a bit of vegetables in there. It's actually quite nice. I don't know, it's like It doesn't taste like anything I've eaten before. It's quite good. So in a South African scene when Upumeza from rural KZN or 
the Eastern Cape comes to Joburg and the first thing they do is like look up at all the buildings. This one would be like, what? These buildings are massive. Just all around me. Look. Just look at this, guys. But all around me, it's just this taller building and there's construction going on. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Hung the floors in that one. So just below this, I've seen it before, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's all you got, but you didn't, so I'm sitting here. So I actually made it to the Choi Kong Estate, which is a very popular Instagrammable place with high-rise buildings, accommodations, and it is a very colorful building with a colorful uh, basketball court, which makes me wonder was it really worth it? Because it's not that bright. Like, they're not as bright as you'd see the photos online because, yeah instagram versus reality but i am here which makes me wonder if the people that live here actually use the basketball courts anymore because this is an actual open space for them to utilize but everybody's here to take photos so it's like hmm. i tell myself to breathe in but the darkness hung and The interesting thing is that this tennis uh, basketball court and volleyball tennis court is actually on top of a building on, on top of a building so it's on it's over the roof of a parking lot which for me is quite interesting and there are some locals jogging just a few of them there are no kids playing in the courts but you can hear like just you know people living kids crying screaming in the buildings around here you can see people that have hung around their laundry so it is a government uh, building where most residents do live here i'm just not sure how many people live in these in this complex because it is an estate and it is fairly huge hey it is fairly huge so it can easily fit a thousand people or even more dare i say so just a short train ride from uh, the house, public housing estate with the colorful uh, basketball court we have the Wong Tai Sin Temple which is one of the oldest um, Thai Taoist temples in the country it is right in the middle of the city there is a busy freeway right across it and this lies right in the middle of building which is very interesting to see as somebody who did urban engineering but it is a very traditional temple we um, relocated in the 1920s so it isn't that old but before this it was all around here it was just rice fields and farming and now it has turned into this um, urban city state Somebody else came again and asked for a picture. I didn't even ask 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 for a picture. Over there is where people get incense and incense and then they take it up to the temple over there.
Hello, I'm Jerry. when I say we have been walking my goodness we crossed over the Bay Area we're on the other island and right now I'm trying to get to the South African cafe cafe that sells South African stuff so I'm gonna take a bus there and I am with Jerry that I met today and we've been hanging out the whole day he is a Chinese guy from mainland China and he's been spending the day today so we've been hanging out and we're gonna go to that south african restaurant place let's go when i tell you this place is packed my goodness there are people in this town in this island what oh daddy you gotta go boy in marrakech sunday yeah christmas eve but wow Out of, is it rice? Maybe, yeah, rice. And the sauce and fish bowls. Good. So you can introduce it. I forgot the name. Okay, this is um, rice with a sauce and sesame seed. The sauce is very spicy, which is different because in Japan we don't have spicy food. And this is fish bowl that I had this morning, <laughs> and it's quite good. Hello, I'm Jerry. So happy to be here to introduce. And today is the second time that I um, came here in Hong Kong. I'm so lucky to meet a new person. And hey, also. Do you remember my name? <laughs> huh? mm. You know, Angelo. Angelo, yeah. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. And with Angelo, I'm so happy to with her to enjoy the whole day. I think it's very sweet and very happy. And we enjoy the local food. And we have seen many uh, so beautiful things here. Hope you guys like hit her video and sub subscribe and add a like at her red heart. Mm -hmm. 